it's just you doing something. And at first, it was really nerve wracking. You did look a little bit with that. Right? Oh, yeah. When you were very young. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, they have to wash your uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. gas station every day. But we have windows like on the which is mild And they're not as expensive as people think, but when it comes to the value of the window, I think you should just I guess the last time I was this excited, I was a new one. Yeah, yeah. 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 We want to make sure it's an environmentally friendly. We want to make sure that we have wheelchair accessibility. Who knows? Children that can't see or can't hear, we also want to play with that too. I, I don't see, to me, this is nothing but a positive, and, and I'm, I am so excited. We're going to have this done by July 7th. The kids are going to be out of school, and they're going to be playing in this park. How long will you be here? I'll be here the whole time, one week, <laughs> nonstop, till it's done. Uh, starting. Today? I believe it's July 1st or just after July 1st. Just after the long after weekend, July boom, we're in here. <laughs> That's what I'm told. Oh, Nate, it will be. I'm, I'm always on time. I'm never late. There's no excuse for a general contractor to be late. Unless you want something in this house once I've seen the product. And I never do that. He's got state-of-the-art lighting and it's solar lighting. And it's it's it, it will shut off on its own. He's got, right. I'm just I can't wait to actually introduce it. Just just in case the kids play a little late, we light the area and then they shut off after five hours. I mean I know what they want. They're gonna like, but we still want to talk to them. We want what you what, what, what do you want? Benches all the way around. You know, I think if we involve everyone, then everyone's happy. No one's gonna be upset. And making sure we never forget what Jamie Bell first started. <laughs> Well, there was some no, no, no ideas that surprised me. Um, it was the, the best information I got was from the kids, and I'm not just saying that. We had some smart kids there, and they were saying, "We like a bigger castle, we like some more slides." I don't mind the chips on the ground, and a couple of the other kids said that it burns my knees when I fall down. So we want to we want to keep some chips. We want to possibly introduce some uh, re recycled uh, rubber where they, if, if there's areas they can fall, that is going to protect them, and it's very environmentally. So friendly and if it's not I'm not going to use it. Uh, they wanted water but we're not going to do that. The waterfall's a great a great idea and substitute to that. I, I don't really want to have anything to do with possibilities of kids drowning. That's not going to happen here. Um, more than anything scenery. You know looking better. Possibly some more trees in here. Cleaning up the outside. And um, I think the number one thing they said was they want to be involved with this. They want to be here. And I said the very last day you can be here. They were disappointed they couldn't help throughout the whole process but I can't have them here due to safety reasons I am the general contractor I'm gonna make sure this is done right for everyone and safely but on the last day I want everyone everyone around here to come in and pitch in paint play and give their last little you know not only uh, two thumbs of approval but more than anything they're they're a little bit of love at the end their touch final touch we'll call it <laughs> Yeah. You look fat. You look, you look fat. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Hello, glad you're here. Nice to meet you. 
so one o'clock on the dot. I like starting things on time. Thank you, everybody, for coming out on this most beautiful day. And I'd like to welcome you to High Park in Ward 13. I am absolutely honored as a city councillor. My name is Sarah Doucette, and I'm proud to be the city councillor of this amazing ward. I do live here. I have been in this park thousands of times, maybe a bit more times this recent two months than I have before. But anyway, now we'll get going, sorry. So thank you very much for coming out. Um, I would like to start by introducing Councillor Norm Kelly. He is our Chair of Parks and Environment, and he is here today to represent the Mayor and the City. Councillor Kelly. Well, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. It is a beautiful day for an event of uh, this importance. Uh, it's my pleasure to bring greetings from the Mayor Rob Ford and to extend to everyone here uh, this afternoon his best wishes for a very successful uh, renaissance rebirthing of uh, Jamie Bell uh, Playground. One of the attractions of uh, political life is that you get a public opportunity to say thank you to people who make a contribution to the quality of life uh, in the uh, City of Toronto and the first thank you goes to the uh, local community. This is a regional park that uh, has been adopted by the local community and functions in certain respects uh, as a local park and it has that nice warm feeling uh, as a result. So thank you uh, members of the community for uh, your involvement in High Park. Um, it's rare that we get things done without sponsors, and so I'd like to thank uh, the following sponsors of this uh, enterprise. Canadian Tire, Lowe's Home Improvement Warehouse, the Sprott Foundation, and the place where I park my money, uh, TD Bank Group. <laughs> you're TD, you're doing a good job. I'd also like to thank, uh, for their expertise and leadership on this project, HGTV, Mike Holmes, who uh, is taller than I expected. <laughs> uh, Mike Holmes and his team, uh, as well as Janet uh, Rosenberg. Thank you all for your uh, contribution. The work, as you can see, will start right away. Uh, and it should be completed by uh, early July, just in time for summer enjoyment. And you can all look forward to uh, uh, um, a rendering of this on Holmes Makes It Right. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for your time and your attention, and best wishes for a successful playground in the many years that lie ahead. Sure, it on the island. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it was March break for the students as well. The community was shocked. We were angry. But, in the spirit of Jamie Bell, we were determined we will rebuild. And I kept saying we'll do it by summer. Jamie Bell Playground is one of a kind. It's a family meeting place. In the spring of 1998, children working alongside parents, teachers, volunteers, they used their imagination, their creativity, they designed and built this amazing dream playground. Celebrating Hyde Park's natural environment, social history and local architecture. In 1999, the playground expanded to an amazing metal slide, which is no longer there. Sorry, it became a liability, but it was amazing. I slid down it with my children many a time. In 2003, the playground was named the Jamie Bell Adventure Playground after Jamie, who first raised this idea of a community build playground in High Park. Jamie was a leader, a very dedicated member of the community. He had that personal style of raising issues and involving people in everything he did. So when Jamie died suddenly in 2002, the community wanted to honor this father of three for everything he had done for us and wanted his legacy to live on. I am hoping that Jamie's family is here today. If not, I do want to thank Ruth, Adam, Aaron, and Sybil for all their support over the last two months. This hasn't been easy for them, 
and they are going to be here obviously for the community build and will probably be leading the charge. So as I mentioned, this fire, it was a tragedy for our community, but the outpour support from individuals and businesses has been phenomenal. But I know my community, I knew we'd rally around, I knew we'd be standing here and I knew we'd do this really quickly. Canadian Tire was the first one in the very early hours, almost before the fire was put out, to step forward with a fantastic donation of $50,000. Now they have actually had two other uh, stores step forward with $5,000 each. So here representing Canadian Tower, we've got a lot of people today. I did just want to point out, um, we have Joe Bar Belafonte, the Director of Government Relations. Thanks, Joe. Good to see you again. And we have Sandra Machini, the Manager of Sponsorship Events. And I have some other names I'll give you in a moment. Now, we also had other donors step forward. Lowe's has kindly provided $10,000 of materials for the rebuild of our castle. We have several members of their community with us this today, including Joanne Elson, who is Lowe's Corporate Communications Manager. So thank you to everyone from Lowe's for everything you're about to do. We really do appreciate it. TD Bank, thank you for the check of $10,000, which you presented to us. This has come from the TD Group and we do appreciate it. And Carmen Dato, the branch manager of my branch, Blue and Runnymede, is here with us today. And again, he has some other uh, TD members with him. So thank you for joining us. We've also received many personal contributions through our most amazing Toronto Parks and Trees Foundation. I have to give a big thank you to them. Without their support, it'd be very hard for us and the city, organizations, to raise funds. They provide tax receipts to people. They take the money, they do all the hard work. So if you haven't donated, you've got your chance. The Sprott Family Foundation has offered to match up to $30,000 from anyone's donation going into our Toronto Parks and Trees Foundation, starting last night when I made the announcement till the end of June. So please, don't hesitate to donate, it's really easy, go online. So I do want to do a big thank you also to city staff. I have been a thorn in their side. Um, and I want to thank them for their patience and their understanding with my enthusiasm to move this forward as quickly as possible. We have some amazing city staff with us today. If I for, don't mention you, I do apologize. We have, as I've already mentioned, Councillor Kelly is not city staff, but thank you for coming out and joining us today. We have Jim Hart, our General Manager of Parks, Forestry and Recreation. Thank you, Jim. Jim's quite new to this, this department and um, we've kept him very, very busy with the Jamie Bell Playground, the High Park Zoo, Riverdale Farm, Far Enough Farm, which we're all working to have a good, happy ending to these stories. Richard Abbans, our Director of Parks, Thank you, Richard. You have helped us know what we can do and how quickly we can get things done. You've been a source of knowledge and I do thank you for that. John Tory, is John, I'm sorry, George, I'm sorry, George. Is George Tory here, our city parks manager? He is fantastic as well. He and his team were the ones who cordoned off the playground as quickly as possible and kept that really small so the kids could still play in the playground. Now what I'd like to do is um, introduce you to what I call our final piece of our puzzle. So this has been a big puzzle, bringing everyone together, all the partners, all the donations. And our most one of our most amazing pieces coming together now is Mike Holmes and his team, Make It Right. And we do thank you with all our hearts for doing this. And I was wondering if you'd like to come and say a few sure. words expand on what he's accomplished to make this right to think about environmental not to mention wheelchair accessibility safety for the children and something to more than anything including them just like he did by the end of this there's no doubt in my mind that everyone is going to love what we're about to accomplish because there is no I am team working together with everyone just like you've seen everyone standing up here uh, I know this is going to be beautiful. I see it in my mind. Now I'm going to work with Janet, Janet Rosenberg. 
who is uh, obviously Canada's most known uh, uh, landscaping architect and design. And, and I'm, I, I'm telling you, we're going to make this right. I promise. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm sure she's overwhelmed, but we do appreciate the community input because that's what this playground is about. Designed by the community and now giving us your input so Janet can complete our dream. <laughs> I mean, playgrounds are just magical places and I, and I think that what was really interesting last night was how different the kids respond to the playground than uh, the adults who not only watch their kids. Uh, and that's what we heard last night at the public meeting. Uh, Mike and I uh, were really uh, taken by the kids as well as the adults because obviously they're coming from two different places and this is, although nobody wants a fire, but I think that if there is a fire and we have a chance to relook at this with fresh eyes, understanding that there's an incredible amount of history and respect for what uh, Jamie Bell did, then certainly we are going to make it the very, very best that it can be. Thank you. Thank you, Janet. And beside Peggy and behind me, and I'm sorry for my back ladies, is Sherry Denova, our MPP. Both Peggy and Sherry have always supported the park. They are fantastic. And we work as a community, and that is what's so wonderful about this area. Next, I would like to invite up Canadian Tire. We have Tim Tallon, our Kelly, local Canadian Tire. Um, Sarah Doucette, yeah. MMP, or MPP, Sherry Devon, and uh, Peggy Nash with us today. Thank you. Canadian Tire has been a part of the community for over 90, day, 90 years from Canadian Tire. At the bank? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Martin Parr, who's the assistant store manager. And if you'd like to introduce anyone else with you, please come on up. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, uh, today, uh, Joanne uh, AJ, who's an assistant store manager from the Etobicoke store. Uh, like Councillor Doucette said, I'm with the London store. Uh, we're thrilled, honored to be here. Uh, Lowe's is always looking for opportunities to help in the community and this is a perfect example of our spirit as a company and uh, we can't wait to to get in there and get our hands dirty and uh, it's a fabulous fabulous uh, effort uh, my personal connection here is that uh, although now i live in london uh, my children are born here in toronto two of them anyways they're here with me today and we used to come here all the time uh, we still have family in this community so it's very close to our hearts and uh, i'm very glad that i could be here today so uh, on behalf of Joanne, AJ, myself, and uh, most importantly, our CEO, Alan Huggins, and the entire Lowe's family, I have a check here to present to the City of Toronto. To give back to the communities that we're a part of. Um, I know when, when this first happened, we had Councillor Doucette come out and we, we presented a check um, along with Jamie Bell's family. Uh, and, and one of the things that we had talked about is how, how deep this touched uh, our employees um, and our customers because we are such a part of the community. So we're just honoured to be able to give back. Um, and we're really excited about being a part of the, uh, the real rebuild efforts and, and, and making it right, as Mike would say, and, and making it better. So thank you. Carmen, as he said, already presented us with a check, and that's already in the bank. So they give an outlet for people who want to donate, and we were at a meeting this morning where we were thanking them, and I truly want to thank you again for the playground, for the zoo, for all the other things you're helping us save. So please, come on in. Thank you. The efforts of this community, and we're just thrilled to be a community partner. We have a website, and we're here to help people donate very, very easily, and we issue charitable receipts. We're a place where we can, in fact, uh, support the communities and distribute funds and, and be a forum for your ideas and moving forward in terms of improving our parks. So I'm thrilled that, uh, that we've been able to help this particular community and I, and I hope that you'll donate. If you go onto our, our page or website, you'll see, you'll see the zoo, you'll see Jamie Bell Park, you'll see all sorts of projects across the city that the communities are working to improve. So I hope you go to our site and uh, support us. Thank you. I started nice. tweeting out on that Saturday morning that we'd had this fire. You spread the word. 
you helped us with the awareness. You've done the same here as you did for the zoo, as I know you're going to do for the Far Enough Farm, and I know you're doing already for the Riverdale Farm. So I do. I want to thank you, and I apologize for bringing you out to a park on a Friday afternoon on the most beautiful sunny day on a long weekend. If you do have any media questions, yes, we will be around to do interviews if you'd like. But I also would like to introduce Shane, he's here somewhere. He will have any more information you need from the city. To join us on July the 7th, bring your cameras, but we're going to put you to work. We want you to come and help us build this dream playground. Make it a reality, as I know everyone here behind me, everyone in front of me is going to help us do. So thank you so much again. Put on that side. Right. That's it, guys. Pull, pull some dirt, please. You want, actually want dirt? Yeah, okay, yeah. Ready? Oh, yeah. That's it. <laughs> One more time. Fire it. Fire it. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> keep going. Keep going. Keep going. All right. We're going to be digging the hole. Huh? All right. <laughs> Off to you. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you for bringing the shovels. We appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.